Combination by definition is a selection of items in which order does not matter. So yun yung kaibahan ng combination sa permutation. Sa permutation, ang ordering ay nagmamatter sa mga arrangement ng inyong mga list of items. Now, by formula, ang combination for NCR is given by N factorial all over N minus R factorial times R factorial. Now, kung gagamitin natin yung formula sa pag-evaluate ng, ng mga combination problem directly, kung meron tayong combination of 8 taken 5 at a time, to evaluate this combination notation, gagamitin natin yung formula. Na yung N, yung lagi mas malaking number, at yung R, yung mas maliit na number. So, by substitution, 8 factorial all over 8 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial will give you 8 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now, to simplify factorial notation, so expand to 8, 7, 6 up until 5, magsastop na ako kay 5 factorial para makancel ko yung 5 factorial sa denominator. So, pag nakancel ko siya, I'll end up with 8 times 7 times 6 all over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. Now, pag evaluate nyo yan using your calculator, it will equal to 56. At yan yung direct substitution ng formula kapag binigyan ka ng factorial not notation na tulad nito na kailangan mong i-evaluate. Now, paano naman natin gagamitin yung formula ng combination sa pagsagot ng mga word problems. Ito ang isa sa mga examples ng uh, word problems which involves combination. Now, Gabby, Car Carly, Ivana, Alfredo, and Angelo are considered to join the Math Olympics. However, only three students are going to be chosen. Now, how many possible combinations can be made on this group? Now, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi sinasabi na kailangan maging first ka, second best ka, or third best ka dun sa mga students na nabanggit. Kailangan lang nung tatlong bata na kailangan nating piliin in random. Now, kung randomly magseselect tayo ng tatlong bata given sa limang bata na yan, ang n natin will be equal to 5 at yung r is equal to 3. Now, using combination, since ang ordering ay eh hindi importante, gagamitin natin yung formula para makuha yung arrangement na kailangan natin o yung number of arrangement na kakailanganin natin dito sa word problem na to. So, n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial is equal to 5 factorial all over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Now, using direct substitution at saka pag-evaluate ng factorial notation, ang number of ways na kung saan makakapili ka tayo ng tatlong individuals para sumali sa Math Olympics will give us 10. So, 10 lang yung combination Isa sa mga combination na yun, pwedeng si Gabi, si Carly, si Ivana, 1. Pwede rin namang si Gabi, si Carly, or si Alfredo, 2. Or si Ivana, Alfredo, or Angelo, 3, and so on. So kung kukunin mo ang eksaktong bilang ng arrangement na yan, 10 arrangements ang mapuproduce natin base dito sa ating formula. So therefore, there are 10 possible ways of selecting the 3 students for the Math Olympics.